Hey guys, it's Jessica Grade 3, and welcome back to more Sonic Adventure. Last time, we finished mission mode making every main gameplay mode of Sonic Adventure and DX completed. And this time, we are going to be going over the DLC that was released for the Dreamcast. But obviously, real quick, I want to go over the new mods we're going to be using because, yes, we have indeed more mods. So you might notice the game looks like the Dreamcast version right now, and the reason for that is we are using the Dreamcast conversion mod. I figure since we're going to be showing the Dreamcast DLCs via mods, we should make it look like the Dreamcast game. And of course it works in tandem with the Lantern Engine, which is for the lighting, and of course the Dreamcast character models. And for the DLC, we are using of course the Dreamcast DLCs mod, which puts them all into the game. I am causing quite the car pile up here, but anyways, I need to let these guys go so we can get into our first DLC. So our first one is a Japanese exclusive Christmas DLC that was available for download between December 23rd and 25th of 98. It was Japanese exclusive because the game wasn't released anywhere else in the world at this point in time. So you'll find Station Square decorated with these Christmas trees and they will show off this little message and they will play one of three songs. That's either Jingle Bells, Joy to the World, or Silent Night. So go ahead and have a listen. And those are all of the songs they will play. I believe there is one more tree in here. We have, yep, here's wishing you a romantic Christmas, Hotel Manager. And that's the 98 Christmas DLC, short and sweet. We have our next piece of Japanese exclusive DLC. This one is called Happy New Year, but it's known more commonly in the fandom as New Year's Katamasu. I'm going to apologize in advance. I'm going to be butchering lots of these Japanese names that are in here. So this is a Japanese exclusive DLC that was available from December 26, 98 through January 7th, 99. The thing is, there was hardly any mention of it aside from a little note on a Japanese-only website from Sega talking about the Dreamcast. For a very long time, Sonic fans were trying to raise awareness for this lost DLC. And it was only found recently by a user that goes by the name Moop the Hedgehog when they bought a VMU from Japan and found the file on it. They were kind enough to upload the files for everyone to download and the modders went right on ahead and got right on implementing it into Sonic Adventure. Thus making it all of Sonic Adventure's DLC found and fully restored. After 20 years, who would have thought? That story is enough to make this DLC pretty legendary, so you will find Station Square filled with these Katamasu decorations. In Japan, the Katamasus are a pine and bamboo decoration that is a traditional Japanese New Year piece that they place in pairs in front of homes. Of course, they display different messages and they have three songs that they can play, so go ahead and take another listen.
actually really like this song. I like how the counter is decorated with these little katamasus. They're so cute, and I believe there's a few more out here. Ah, uh, yes, they're decorating the entrance to the casino. We pray for continued prosperity in the new year. And what about this one? We sure to fix the door switch this year. Yeah, because light dashing up there isn't that great of an idea. And are there any in the train station? I don't believe so. And that is this famous old lost DLC that was found and restored. I can't believe after 20 years it was actually recovered. Our next piece of Japanese DLC is called Let's Look for Kill Cards. This is a contest where contestants had to locate six Hidak-Hidak-Hidak- Oh god. Players have to find six kill cards with Hikazu Yukawa's face on it. They're hidden around station squares and the Mystic Ruins and you have a 10 minute time limit. So... Let's find the kill cards! I've actually never done this! Oh, oh, I see one up there. Okay. That was not too bad. So wait, this is mission mode before mission mode. Oh my- oh, what I fell. Okay, great. <laughs> well, there's the first card. Oops, you got the old man there. Wait a minute. There's- there's fake cards hidden around? Are you serious? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> okay, there he is. You found me, huh? Okay, found one of the cards. And if you didn't know this man, he doc I, I'm not even gonna try and say his name again. He was the senior managing director for Sega during the Dreamcast era. You can find him in a whole lot of ads for the Dreamcast in Japan. And he earned the nickname Mr. Sega. Well, he's not hiding in the sewers, we can we can be sure of that. Oh! Even harder from now. I didn't even see that! They hid on the wall! Oh! Oh, and I realized there's- I, I didn't know I wasn't paying attention to the counter. That first card we got says, oh, you found the old man. I'm like, oh, that's a dupe card? No. No, it wasn't. I just thought it was. Okay, where's the rest of these things? <laughs> this really is like mission mode, except I'm completely blind on it. I'm not seeing any more in Sage Square, so I'm gonna head off to the Mystic Ruins. And if you're like me, a dumb American who has no idea what a kill card is, well, I had to look it up. In Japan, kill cards are basically just preloaded credit cards. That's it. They don't seem to be anything too special, except they're not universally accepted everywhere, but it seems they're very widely accepted by plenty of places. So that's what those are in case you're curious. Tails, are you hiding Mr. Sega in your workshop? It's not. Dang it. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Mr. Sega because that's so much easier to say. Oh, here's another one right here. You might break a nail if you fell from here. You'd break more than a nail, buddy. <laughs> Would they be evil enough to hide any in the mystic maze? Would they? Oh, well, here's one right here, speaking of which. The cards can be used nationwide. Use them well. Oh, there's another balloon here? I guess that's a start over. I don't want to hit that then, because I don't I don't want to start over again. Uh, I'm going to head here. I don't think... They, they probably were jerkish to hide one of the map. They, they probably were. Is it going to show on the map? I don't see anything. Surely they would not put it in just like one of these random pathways, right? I actually don't think it's in here. I I think they didn't hide it here because it's such a late game area. So I'm just gonna keep looking around. Maybe, who knows? I don't know where it is. Oh, well I wasn't trying to do that. Does that mess up my time? No, it doesn't. Okay, you can die and it not mess up your time. I have two minutes to find this last card. I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Help. Oh, I see it! Oh, I see it! I was checking on the rails. There you are. Rush to the Mystic Ruins. Gold, now! Do I have to? Oh, I have to grab the goal. Okay, congratulations. You've cleared the card hunting game. Your result is 8 minutes 18 seconds. Beat that, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Just try to beat that. Oh, oh, if I didn't mention, this was also released on January 22nd, 99. I don't know if it was part of a sponsorship, but I have a feeling it was. We have our last bit of Japanese exclusive DLC, Sonic Kun's Hide and Seek. This is a contest that was actually sponsored by the Famitsu Gaming Magazine. There are five hedgehog photos hidden all around Station Square, and they have to be found within a 10 minute time limit. You see where this is going again, but this time it's just Station Square, not the Mystic Ruins. So let's get to finding those photos. I swear, it's like they don't want mission mode to end for me. I don't, I don't know why. Why must you keep pushing mission mode? 
I don't know if I'm looking for pictures of Sonic or like an actual hedgehog, because I know nothing about this DLC. <laughs> well, I can guarantee hedgehogs are not rats. They're not in the sewers. I have gone all over Station Square and I have not found the hedgehog photos. Yeah, they're in Station Square because there's the end balloon. Where in the earth are these hedgehog photos? I have seriously looked everywhere and I cannot find a single one. What the heck? What am I looking for? Am I looking for actual hedgehogs or Sonic? I need a clear explanation here. Oh, oh, I think I found, it's an actual hedgehog. Oh my God. New Famitsu issue every Friday. Wow, that was actually really, really well hidden. I have no idea where the others are. <laughs> this should not be this difficult. I, I know I probably like passed three of them and some people are yelling at me like, dude, it's right in front of you and I legit just don't see it. Famitsu, I think you might have got me. I, I can't, I can't find any more hedgehogs. Why can't I find any more hedgehogs? Can you please sell me pictures of hedgehogs? Oh, there's a second one. I want to become a blue hedgehog. <laughs> oh my, okay, so I found two. I'm gonna check the sewers again. Just to be sure there aren't any hedgehogs in here. Are you sure you're not rats? Found one in the pool, one in the jewelry store. There has to be one on like this main street area. There has to be, you can't convince me otherwise. I'm looking around Twinkle Park. This is how desperate I am. I'm not gonna get this time limit, so uh, you'll be able to see what happens when I fail, I guess. Just give, give me a time over. Try again from the beginning. Where were these stupid hedgehogs? <laughs> well, I grabbed those two again. Now the search continues. Well, they hide another one in the hotel. Are you hiding a hedgehog, sir? Oh my God. I didn't know. Why would they hide them on the ceiling? What the heck? Well, I found the train station one. I'm literally just gonna have to stop and do this now. Wow, what the, why, why? How are you supposed to find that? There should be like some kind of law preventing them from hiding stuff on the freaking ceiling. That's mean. I feel like I'm playing Super Mario Odyssey, looking up at the sky, just hoping to see something good. <laughs> What is that hanging in the station square window? Hold on. What is that? Is that wood? That's that's not a poster. Well, <laughs> I think it's time I get my eyes checked. I just want to find a hedgehog. There has to be one on this screen. There has to be somewhere. It's on a car, sir. Are you taxiing a hedgehog around? I need to know. I don't know. Where where would they be? Where would they be? I will not stop going down here until I find a hedgehog down here. Wait a minute, that's a pipe, Never mind. Oh, oh, hello there. Ha ha, I found you. Ha, that was actually really hard to see. Okay, that's four, I have one more and I know it's gotta be in the casino area because that's the only place that hasn't had a hedgehog yet. No one has been hidden exactly like one of the others. So you can't just like, oh, this one's up high. I'll look for the other ones up high. Wait, what logo is that? Hold on a sec. It looks like an, it looks like a weird Eggman face with like a droopy mustache. Can't expect another one to. Wow! Oh no, I'm beaten. Gotta rush to the goal now. Wow! Camera. Those were really, really jerkishly hidden. I spent 25 minutes on this. And if I haven't mentioned it, uh, this also came out on February 12th, 99. Oh dear God, those are so jerkish. And we have our first instance of worldwide DLC. We have, of course, the launch party DLC, which was to celebrate the launch of the Sega Dreamcast in the West. It's decorated Station Square with all these signs and balloons, and they have nice little messages. Thank you for choosing Sonic from Sonic Team. This, of course, released on 9999 to correspond with the release of the Dreamcast in the West. Look at all these signs and balloons, aren't they nice? There are, of course, European and Japanese versions of this DLC. They feature little bits of minor text change, which is probably, you know, just so it sounds better in translation, as well as some of the textures were changed, but, oh, whoa, look at those big balloons. Oh, those are big balloons. Oh, I love balloons. 
You know, if like Sega ever had a convention, they were giving out balloons like these, you bet I would buy a bunch. I freaking love balloons more than I should. We're going to the Sega Dreamcast Hotel. The only other, oh my God, there's a banner. Oh, oh, I love this. I haven't seen this DLC in a while. Is there anything out by the pool? Yes, there is. Anyways, what I was going to say, oh, there's one right here too. Oh goodness, I'm noticing where all these sides are. Look for more cool stuff online. You ain't seen nothing yet. What I was trying to say this whole time is that the Japanese and European versions list the launch date while the US one does not. Something about these balloons are so mesmerizing. I, I don't know, that is just a really cool little thing. I like it, I like it a lot. Now we have an actual reason to be Sonic. Welcome to the Halloween DLC that was released on October 18th. 99. Look at all these happy Halloween posters all around Station Square. Halloween party is being held at Twinkle Park right now. Of course, that is where we are going because that is where the majority of the decorations are for this. So if we go to Twinkle Park through here, we will see. Look at this. It's been completely decorated. Enemies are dressed up like jack-o'-lanterns. There's stickers everywhere all throughout Twinkle Park. This is really cool. Are these enemies actually? Can I? Oh no, they say trick or treat if you touch them. I thought they damaged me. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, those, those still damage me. Those go away. No, I think the road part of this is mostly the same. Excuse me, get off my bumper. Don't you know the dangers of tailgating? No. See those are the dangers of tailgating. Anyways, the racing part is basically the same. The real meat of it is when we get to the second act of the level. Oh, and now you ready to see Twinkle Park? Have a little look. Actually, it looks very much the same except for a few stickers. But look at this. Isn't this nice? Wow, okay. So there's not a whole lot more than we're just gonna keep going through Twinkle Park as normal. I believe all these things will say is trick or treat. Yeah. All right, let's just keep on going. Oh, we got one right here. Could I roll you over? Well, this basically represents of how good I am at bowling in general. Wow. So they're everywhere, all over the place. Just nice little decorations around Station Square. Station Square? No, Twinkle Park. Oh, and I guess you have to hit them to avoid for the bowling. So that adds a little bit of complexity to the bowling. It's very, very cool. And the merry-go-round doesn't look like anything's changed around here. Got it. Just. So many stickers, so many stickers. Stickers are everywhere. You're not gonna stop me from hitting the spring. And yeah, this could be a little actually bit of a difficult time platforming around with him running all over the place. But yeah, this is a nice little change of pace. I think it's very cool, especially like decorate Twinkle Park for Halloween because you know, theme parks oftentimes do have big decorations for Halloween. It's really cool to see that represented in the game. I think they picked the right place. So there we are. I still love this tile texture, by the way. Can I get on the capsule? There we are. And that's the Halloween DLC. That's basically all there is to it. It's okay. We have our next piece of DLC and it is sponsored. As you can see, we have Rebook here telling us to go to the speed challenge at Emerald Coast. This one was released in 99 and unfortunately we don't seem to know the month or date. But this one is also interesting as it only worked for PAL copies of Sonic Adventure and a PAL Dreamcast. So this one, we have to go around Emerald Coast looking for something. I swear it doesn't feel like mission mode has ended. I definitely should have found something by now. Don't tell me it's gonna be another one of these. Oh, I had to grab it first. Okay, well this was made to promote Rebook's new shoes. So of course you go around collecting them and you have to collect them all within a time limit. What's interesting about this is that people with the top 50 times actually won prizes. Those prizes included from 50th to 11th, you got exclusive European Sonic Speed Challenge Rebook t-shirts. From 10th to 5th, got frame certificate and a pair of Rebook DMX shoes worth 50 pounds. Fourth, third, and second runners up got framed gold Sonic discs, 200 pounds of Rebook clothing, plus a pair of Rebook DMX shoes, and first place got a personalized Dreamcast pod, which is six foot 
high display unit featuring a television monitor, console, and controllers. Also, they got a thousand pounds of rebook clothing, including the pair of the DMX shoes. And there's also been some sources I've said that all says there was a trophy, but not all of them say that. So what's really upsetting is that there doesn't seem to be any pictures of said prizes, which that's a big shame. I wish there were. I would have loved to see that console. That that sounds like it would have been really, really something. That big display. Oh man, I just wish I just want to see like a picture of that somewhere. In case you're wondering, this DLC is also something that's exclusive to Sonic. No other characters can play this. Oh, oh, we didn't get all the shoes. Oh well, leave the Emerald Coast to quit the. Ch or I could die. That works too. <laughs> Okay, let me start over. Gotta find all the shoes! We're looking for shoes! You know, honestly, I think, like, shoes promotions work so well with Sonic. I kind of wish they did more of those nowadays. Actually, what am I talking about? They just did one with the Sonic movie. I actually would really like those shoes, so if someone, like, wants to find and buy me those, I would not complain. Oh, I didn't even read these signs. I was too busy talking. The shoes are stolen by Dr. Robotnik. So Eggman stole all the shoes. You know, that's actually a good idea. If Sonic wears down all his shoes and has nothing to wear, how the heck is he gonna run? I mean, that's a very good question. You ever try to like run without shoes? I mean, he needs the arc support with how much he runs, you know? I have absolutely no idea where these other two pairs are. Oh boy. Oh, I also forgot to mention that as soon as you collect the first pair of shoes, the music changes to the versus rival music. So that's a cool little thing to point out in case you didn't notice it. Aha, here you are under the springboard. So there is another pair. You know, here's another question. Why would Eggman, I mean, take the shoes? I mean, not just take the shoes, but then hide them all over the place. Actually, is that one I see over there? Hold on. I think I see that one over there. Ooh, did I see another one up there? I thought I saw something spinning. Is that it? Oh no, I've seen this thing here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's also very cleverly hidden. Okay, cool, okay. So that makes all the pairs of shoes found. So you use this one, and then there's that other one. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Everything was going good! Our last pair of shoes, fifth pair found, go to the goal on the lighthouse. There we are. Now saving your clear time. So then, of course, you would create send data and then upload it to the Sega Dreamcast Online, and that's how they got the contest results. Cool little contest, and I really wish I could have seen some of those prizes. Our next piece of DLC is another Christmas piece. This is from Christmas 99. It was available to download between December 17th and December 28th of 99. It features all these large Christmas trees. And what's funny about this one is specifically this tree here is that you see where it's placed? If you were in Sonic Story, you know how that ID card drops from you know, speed high. Oh my god, there's a Sonic on the tree. How did I just now notice this? Oh my god. Oh, there's Chow too. Wait, wait, what all's on this tree? Oh god, I, okay, I'm getting distracted now. So, when that ID card drops, it goes right here. And, um, yeah, you can't get to it because there's a giant tree on top. Which, that left the problem. Although, if you're playing this mod, don't worry, the modders fixed it. Although, what's interesting, if you play these, it will play a song. Have a listen. It's kind of hard to hear, but the song is Dreams Dreams Acapella from Christmas Nights. So it's nice to hear. Merry Christmas countdown to year 2000. Oh, there's just one sitting right here in the middle of the road. Okay, I mean this song is nice, but uh, I can't hardly hear it over the traffic. I hate to say that, there's just not that great of sound mixing. And the last tree we have right here is of course in the train station. Oh, what does this one say by the way? Merry Christmas, best wishes. I forgot about this one. What does this one say too? I have to know, excuse me. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So that's this one, it's another piece of simple DLC. We've got our next piece of sponsored DLC and this one was actually exclusive to the US. So, 
This is for AT&T. If you touch the start plane, you'll go into Speed Highway. This one doesn't have a whole lot to it. It's just Speed Highway decorated with AT&T logos telling you to go get their cellular service. I wish they'd stop calling us about internet. The last time your internet doesn't run down our road. Please stop. And that was it. Clear. Wow. Okay. Well, and now I have to grab this for the gold? That's... We are now saving your clear time. Okay. I'm, I'm not ashamed of that time. I didn't do great, but it, it was all right. What's interesting about this, though, is that it featured multiple characters. So we have Knuckles here in at and Treasure Hunt Time Attack. So... Yeah, I guess I have to find treasures. Uh, do it. What are these? Stuck, stand in front of the shack. Wait, do a dash? What? That that doesn't do anything. Oh, the treasure's somewhere in front of the sign. Okay, so you have to dig for the treasure. Does it have to be like all these line up and cross paths at a certain place? Is that, is that how this is gonna work? So it's gonna be somewhere like around here. Come on, let me dig. Treasure found! Great digging! Okay, cool. What about you? Do you have anything to say here? Top time attack winners will win a prize! Wait a minute, I don't have that written down. Hold on a second. I have no idea what this prize was, but apparently there was a prize. Oh my god, what is with all these signs? I'm feeling attacked by AT&T! Check out where you place the Windy Stone. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm heading there. And if you're curious, this came out the day before Christmas. So, is the treasure here? Oh yeah, there it is, okay. So this came out on December 24th and was available until January 14th. So, there you go. What do you have to say now? No treasures around? Well, that's at least some useful advice. Treasure somewhere near the minecart. Uh, the treasure's somewhere in front of this sign. Well, it told me near the minecart. So, if I dig here, treasure found! You're awesome! Okay, we got one more to go. You're just telling me no treasure around here, and I can't dig down there, so it's not down there. How about how about back here? You Is there something? No. Where's this last one? There has to be a hint somewhere in the shack, but I can't get to it. Did he tell me to do a dash punch? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Stand in front of the shack. Wow, okay. That one took me a moment. I thought I was like I trying to punch my way into the shack. Wow, okay. I, I'm all right with that. Time's up, please try. Look guys, I found them all, does that count? This feels like mission mode before mission mode was a thing. You know, I wonder if this is what gave them the idea to put it in 2DX. I mean, I, I can't just, I can't help but just wonder that sometimes, but here, I got him in like a minute. Is that good enough for you? Dare, yay, treasure hunt time attack cleared. Your result is a minute five. Yeah, just beat, beat that if you want to. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's telling me all about it already. Time attack race is holding in Sand Hill. Well, we saw what the sign says. Off to Sand Hill for the last of the mini games from this AT&T sponsored thing. Go through 10 blue goal rings. Oh, actually, I didn't get to read that. Oh, oh there's one. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Uh, gate two passed. Where's the next one? I don't know where I'm going. I think, I think I see it up there. Is that the only other one? It's kind of nice not having to worry about going through these. I swear that trial mode is giving me. But gate five, wait a minute, I missed some. Oh no, I missed some. So that was gate five, and this I guess is gate six. Oh my god, they're everywhere, I think. Okay, that's gate seven, at least. Oh, wait, wait, this must be gate eight, then. Come on, Tails, pick up the pace. We're on our move. Yeah, gate eight, and then this must be nine, and then we're gonna find ten over here, right? Yeah, okay, so I just, I missed one there. That's, that's okay. Well, I didn't miss one, I missed two. All right, gotta try again. There it is. Okay, gate three is over here. Now, where's gate four? Gate four, oh, I see gate four. Okay, there we go, That those are the only two we missed. Now, gotta go all the way. Yeah, you have to swerve all the way around here to get gate five, that's that's weird, okay. And all 10 gates. 
not too bad at all. I'm actually pretty pleased with my time there. I felt I did really good. Also, I did a little bit of digging and I was able to find some information on the possible prizes of this event. I don't know how accurate this is, so don't take it as fact. It was just the only thing I could find. So there were 15 players that were awarded a year-long subscription to the official Dreamcast Magazine. If this was a collaborative sponsored event from Dreamcast Magazine, with AT&T. Then 19 winners got awarded a Dreamcast game. I don't know if they got their pick or not. And five got an AT&T premium package for a whole year free. And then it's speculated that the grand prize would have been all three of those things. The prizes for this one didn't seem to be too special unlike the rebook one, so not a lot we missed out on by not having pictures. <laughs> And we are at year 2K. This was the 2000s, and this is the DLC we got for that. The Millennium 2000 Welcome. Try to find it. It's also in the action stage. What's in the action stage? This giant ring. Which action stage is it in? All of them. Ah. Of course, this is the New Year's DLC to celebrate entering the 2000s. What a time to be alive. So, of course, it features these rings in every signal action stage and you have to find them. If you find one of these rings and you touch it, the background music will be changed to Palm Tree Panic from Sonic CD. Interesting little thing, and of course, it was released on December 29th, 99. Wish you a very good New Year. How sweet. Our last piece of DLC is Samba GP. This adds a lot of circuit courses and is to mark the release of Samba de Amigo on the Dreamcast. As you can see, we've got a few posters. Twinkle Circuit Samba GP Grand Opening. Does it have anything else to say? No, it does not. <laughs> of course, to access them, we want to go into minigame. Okay, I made, I, I made a mistake real quick. I didn't notice this. The course is over here. I was going in minigame mode. Like, wait a minute. Am I playing the exact same course over and over again? Yes, I was. Samba GP. Here we go. And we got our first course. I have it set to be a different course for every character. So that way we're not going to be constantly quitting the game again and loading up new mods and stuff. So we're going to see all the other characters' carts. Anyways, something I didn't know for a long time. Apparently you can drift with L and R. I'm not, I'm not noticing that much of a difference at all. Anyways, if you might be noticing, the background music for this is actually everybody's Super Sonic Racing from Sonic R. Yeah, what a place to stick the song. Anyways, we are only actually going to do one lap because I don't really see much of a point in finishing this. The kart racing minigame, it's interesting but it's not exactly what we came here for. So, there we go. <laughs> and of course, the course Sonic went through is Samba's GP. And now for Tails, we get Eggman Battle for his course. The song might be a little hard to recognize as everybody's Super Sonic Racing because it's an instrumental version. I'm actually not too familiar with the song. It's apparently supposed to play when you go under the gate, but, uh... I don't know which gate that is. I've never done this DLC, and to be honest, I've never spent that much time in the kart racing minigame to begin with. But Tails has so much acceleration. Good lord. Yeah, all the characters have different stats. So that's something you can note in a little bit of an interesting detail. Where is this gate? Is it just the goal gate, I guess? Do you have to go under it after completing a lap? Does this mean we're not going to hear everybody supersonic racing, or am I, am I just silly? Okay, I think it's been playing this entire time. Okay, next character. <laughs> and for Knuckles' extra course, he gets Upward Battle. Now, I think it's time we actually sit back and listen to this music while we go through these next few courses. It's called Jumps and Bumps, and can I say I hate playing as her? She's so freaking slippery! You have no idea! So 
slow and slippery. Why'd they do this to her? And since we've already seen Big in a cart, I figured we would give our last course, Crazy Corners, to Gamma. He has some wicked fast acceleration, but he's also really slippery. Oh my god, it's Amy and Tails combined. Why would you do this to me? This does not seem right at all. Okay, well at least these seem either shorter than the original or they just go by faster because I'm getting better. I don't care. Why are there so many straight corners? That's mean. I don't like it when you do that. There's gonna be another one up here. Yes, there is. Does Eleanor actually do anything? I'm really trying to figure this out. And it's already over. Wow. That is all of the DLC for Sonic Adventure. I wanted to take my time to thank the people that extracted the files from the VMU and recompiled them and put them together in mods so we could still play them to this day. That is awesome. You did a great job and thank you very much. Anyways, next time on Sonic Adventure, it will be our last time as we cover up every loose end. So I'll see you in the next one later.